Hey guys, welcome to the channel. We're going to be solving another question from the first chapter of the Beer and Johnson textbook, Mechanics of Materials, and we have question 29. And we have these two wooden members of uniform rectangular cross section that are joined by a simple glued scarf splice, as we can see. So it's glue in this part. And we know that the force P in here is 11 kilonewtons, and we need to determine the normal and shearing stress in the glued splice. So basically, we are looking for the normal stress or and shear stress in the glued connection that I highlighted in blue in here. And let's get started. So if we we'll look at this wooden members from here i'm gonna draw it in here then we can see better so we have the force p in here and we know this angle right here is 45 degrees so the force p that uh this wooden member is going to tolerate is this force p but that's not what we are looking for we are interested in normal stress and shear stress in here which means we need to dissolve this force p into these two components of perpendicular and parallel to the surface and since we know the angle is 45 degrees this angle right here would be 45 degrees too so this is 45 degrees so this force would be the p cosine of 45 degrees and the other one would be p sine of 45 degrees so basically what we did so far is is to dissolve our p into perpendicular and parallel components of the surface that we have in here so we have some dimensions regarding the surface and if we want to find this surface we have a simple rectangle one side is 75 and the other side 150 which would be, if we look at that surface, it would be this surface in here. We can call it A. And if we want to find A, it's pretty easy. You basically have 150 times 75, and that's going to give us millimeter cube for the area. So what we are trying to find in here is the average, norm the normal stress and the shearing stress let's start with the normal stress which is the first part of the question and for that we basically have the force normal to the surface and by the surface again we are talking about this surface which we can call the area of this surface a prime so we basically have the force normal force on that surface which is p sine of 45 degrees divided by the a prime and also we know this angle here is 45 degrees too so if you want to find the area of the air a prime we have uh, i'm going to show it here we have this right right triangle here this surface is a and we are looking for a prime okay so here we are looking for the relationship be between a and a prime since we already have the a and if you find the cosine of 45 degrees what we're going to get is basically the adjacent which is a over the hypotenuse which is a prime that means our a prime in here would be a divided by cosine of 45 degrees so now that we have that basically our normal stress would be p sine of 45 degrees divided by a divided by cosine of 45 degrees this one can go in our numerator so what we're going to get is basically p sine of 45 degrees times cosine of 45 degrees divided by a and we know the value for sine and cosine of 45 degrees is the same. So real doesn't matter if, if you pick the other 45 degrees, it's going to switch these two in here, but same answer at the end. So let's calculate the force. We know the P is 11 kilonewtons. So 
uh, 11 times 1,000 newtons times sine of 45 times cosine of 45 divided by our A, which we already figure is 150 times 75, and that's millimeter. If you want to have it in meter, we have 10 to the minus 6. That way we can get it in a millimeter. I don't know why I put cube in here. This is actually millimeter squared. So yeah, let's figure this out. So we have 11,000 times cosine of 45 times sine of 45 divided by 150 divided by 75 times 10 to the 6. So it will be 488.9 or 489 kilopascal. So we're going to get 489 kilopascal. That would be the answer for the normal stress. And if you want to find the shearing stress, we have a different force in here. This time our force is P cosine of 45 degrees. The cosine of 45 degrees and the area that we have is same as what we had before or a over cosine of 45 cosine of 45 can go to the top so this will be squared and we have a in here again p is 11 times 10,000 times cosine of cosine squared of 45 degrees and we have the same area in here times 75 times. as i mentioned we know the value of sine and cosine are the same so basically cosine squared is the same as what we got for normal stress we don't need to calculate it again so 489 kilopascal same answer for both of these two and the final answer for this question hope everything was clear uh, let me know if you guys have any question feel free to check out the playlist that we have in this channel we are covering different textbooks and uh, let me know if you have any specific problem then we can cover it in the next videos and you guys take care i'll see you in the next video have a good one